Hey, it's Sunday, November 28th, and uh, we're doing some interior decorating here. We got uh, these nice little hospital curtain kind of things, and I, I like them a lot. They're decent quality stuff. They're, they're plenty strong. I thought they were not going to be strong enough, but they're plenty strong. Um, and they work really well. I like them a lot. So... Uh, what we did here for the shower, since we've got this piece, I made little spacers out of the same stuff that we're going to paint those white. Um, but so that gives us this. And uh, we're going to set up a little deal here on the inside with like a little suction cup thing to hold this in. And the same on this side here. And uh, the little woman is going to make some modifications to the top of this and we're going to put snaps into this to hold that in place and when you're on the inside it's quite spacious um it looks like it's not going to work too well as it is because these things it the bottom tries to flip outside from the pan but um we're going to put some lead weight shots in the bottom there to, to hold it better and I think that's going to be just fine. So right now we're working on these curtains here. And we're toying around with different kind of rods. We got these spring rods from, I guess, Walmart. Barbara did. And I'm going to change these feet. These don't have a very rubbery kind of feel here. That's more like a plastic surface. That I think will, will be a little bit too slippery on that polyurethane. So... I'm gonna try to find some little rubber caps for this. And uh, we're gonna, on the back of here, we're gonna use the same hospital curtain rod type stuff because it just works so nice. And it's actually pretty easy to work with. I'll show you what else we got going on here. We're gonna use spring rods here, top and bottom. And that lets us close these. It's going to be two panels on each window. And uh, little ties on the sides here to hold it pretty. And then we've also got this installed around the whole windshield. And all the way across the side there. Okay. And it looks I really good. I have a good. dilemma here. If you're Mark. She has a dilemma. All right, we're back. So um, our dilemma has been overcome. And Barbara's just trying to figure out how to make pleats in how these are going to hang so that the, the curtain comes up higher than where the hooks are. It's, uh, that's her thing. She sews, so she can figure all that out. So the, the roller set that I bought is a 16-foot kit, I guess you'd call it. And it gave us enough to go around the whole windshield uh, and I've used up all of the brackets. I have leftover rollers, but I used up, I, put, I added more brackets. They say uh, 10 to 12 inch spacing. And I've got 10 inch spacing here. And then I've got like 8 inch spacing on the shower. Because I figured that might be heavier, you know, when it gets wet and all that stuff. So these are 8 inch on center here. And uh, yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're going to get another kit of this um, to go across the back. And we're going to put a curtain to close this opening off. So I'll probably just get another 16-foot kit. Then I'll have leftovers and uh, spare parts if something should break. And uh, yeah, because to go from an 8-foot or 9-foot to a 16-foot, it's just a couple dollars more. So that's what we're going to do. All right. I think that's it for a day. Uh, oh, the other thing that we did today is uh, I made the legs right here. This is just some old table we dug out of the trash and took the legs off of it. I mean, it's just a leg, right? It's nothing fancy. And then I drilled and put these, um, I forget what you call these. It's a wood screw on one end and the machine screw on the other and uh when you 
take this cushion off, you screw the legs into this piece, and then this is your handle to pick it up. And uh, this lays out completely flat, and it works great, nice and nice and sturdy. So.